Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Kurt, aka David Roofing Gamer, and I'm here. It has been a while with a new unboxing, and today I'm unboxing Role Player, not Role Player, but Role Player fr uh, Friends and Familiars. Oh my god, I forgot how it was called. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, but this is the big box that I that you could pack with it, so you can put everything in this box from uh, the base game, the first expansion, Monsters and Minions, and the Friends and Familiars expansion, the new one. So, Starlit Faithful, all blessings upon you. Grim news from the north, our search uncovered many artifacts, but no true beacon. Worse, we've been discovered. The Dragal city-states lie in ruin and now they blame the crown. Invasion of Nalos is imminent. Support national defense by all available means. Call in all favors from our new friends, from our friends on the council and initiate an immediate military draft. Meanwhile, search the library for any mention of secret chambers within the borders of Nalos. What we seek must have been under our nose all along. As always, be cautious in your work. I've learned King Taron is far more savvy than he seems. Next time we meet, our world will be at war. Yet keep hope, dear ones. A conflict of this size is bound to uncover a hidden hero or two. And that's what we make in this game. We make heroes. So, this is a game by Thunderworks. Thunderworks Games. Designed by Keith Map. Taika or something like that. <laughs> um, so let's take this off here. I just got it in the mail. I'm pretty excited about it. So this is the big box, as you, uh, as I already told you. So it's quite large. Uh, now it's nice in with embossed letters here, as you can see a little bit. Maybe there we go. You see it with the light. So it's a very nice looking box. It will look nice on my shelf. Um, I recently read a thread on Board Game Geek for someone that was very disappointed in his box and I must say I'm happy that I read the thread because I thought this would come with an insert and apparently it doesn't so I also thought it would nicely store everything and spoiler alert it apparently doesn't anyway role player friend of oh, fiends and familiars I always I, I kept saying friends right fiends and familiars because they're fiends now so we have a rule book, um, which I've already read, and it's it seems okay. Uh, it tells you what you need to know if you're playing with no other expansion or with uh, the previous expansion, and it brings us a bunch of new things. First of all, um, there there might be. Uh, Kickstarter exclusives in this uh, box. I have no clue about it, but we have a new race here the shaky shaky or whatever they're called male and female. There's the male one here So there we go, and it comes off pretty smooth. Uh, so that's a new one If you want to play something else, and it has its own um, Stats that you want to reach So that's pretty cool there are more, there are more than that. We have Sarian, this lizard-like folk here. As you can see, that looks pretty cool. And there are many more. The Vargar, this uh, wolf-like race, pretty neat. Then we have a special one, I think. This is the Kaika. I think this might have been the choice by the backers. I don't remember, but I think they did a poll on which one they wanted, the, the public wanted, and I think this penguin race uh, won in the end. So uh, let's see. That's a, uh, yeah, apparently very, they want a lot of, they get a lot of wisdom. So then we come to the familiars. So this in this um, expansion, you can get familiars by your side, or one at least at the beginning of the game, and they also get dice placed into them, and they score you points if that works out uh, the way it has to go. Pretty low numbers as you can see, and we have a viper, an owl, uh, an ice bear. Uh, that's pretty cool. We have a shadow drake, flame imps, and a Nalos leopard, long-tailed weasel, 
Silver Wardog and Dragon Wolf. Scorch Phoenix Tempest Fox. I love the artwork of that one. And uh, Jackalope. And the last but not least, the Cursed Raven, the Ancient Tortoise, and the Blood Badger. Wow, that's a scary looking badger indeed. So, as I said, no insert to put everything. This is just made to make it sturdy for, well, sending it to the people because I believe I read that you don't, cannot fit everything with this inside. So you will have to take this out and sort everything the way you wish. So that is going to be a puzzle to do. There are inserts, I think, that you can buy for this. But then again, of course, it will cost you more money. Let's start with the one in the back. These are more of these combat dice. These already came in the first expansion, but they, they're, there's more because you can choose only to use this expansion if you don't want to buy the first one. Uh, some more experience tokens uh, or cubes. You will always also get that in the other expansion. New dice, and these, these dice are uh, split dice. So they uh, count for two colors of dice, but they only go up to four instead of six. So they make you, well, make it easier to put it on a place where you want, but the numbers are lower. And I guess you for each combination you have I think you have one of each combination by the first look of it. Yeah, there are no more. So I think every combination has one die. Every co combination of two different colors has one die here. Pretty cool. A bunch of baggies if you want them, if you need them. And then we go to the, com to the cards. And then I have to quickly open them. First, these small ones here. So these are... Uh, for example, Fiend cards, and there's a bunch of these Fiend cards here. So Fiend cards, they uh, there's a bunch of these. These, these are placed in the draft section. So in this game, you draft dice at the beginning of a round, and one of the, or, or more, one of, or two, depending on the number of players, of the spots where you draft dice from, will have this Fiend card on it. If you take that die, you also take the Fiend uh, card and then you um, well it has an effect and you you want to get rid of these maybe because they might bother you during the game and you have a bunch of these uh, things these these are not fiends by the way these are other things that I forgot to take away oh they are a little bit mixed up apparently but you have ah, fiend of temperance for example. When you go on a hunt, you cannot spend experience to reroll. So it bothers you a bit. You don't want that to... Well, don't want too many of those, I think, I guess. But it has adds some more stuff to the game, which is pretty cool. All right, next cards that we have are uh, the new... These are the new... Uh, turn order uh, dice drafting cards. So depending on the number of players. Uh, and as you can see, this card will get a Fiend card on top of it every time either it stays there if nobody takes this die or it goes away and it will be replaced. So that's something new. So you, if you play with this expansion, you will need to play with these new cards. There's a bunch of new um, background cards and uh, what's it called backgrounds and class cards as well. So more, more versatility in this game. So that's pretty cool. So no two games will be the same. That's for sure. New beasties with new effects. So you can put these with the others and get other beasts to hunt for, which is pretty cool. And there are pretty awesome looking ones for sure. Look at this one. This is a gremlin one. So pretty cool, new monsters to go hunting. Uh, always good, I, I like that. I like just my expansions the way this is. More cards, more different things that you can encounter. That's what I want in my expansions. Not too much new gameplay things. There is a few now. You have the fiends, which is a minor thing. It gives you something to deal with. And it gives you the familiars, which give you something 
uh, to go for and some effect that you can get I guess so more of these cards a new turn uh, setup guide and then we have new market cards so there are more market cards here which is pretty cool and apparently there are new cards for the different sets in the game so another leather another chain a chain for the chain set which is pretty neat that they did this because otherwise the deck would be so random that it's so difficult to go for these sets and score a lot of points with it so now you have a little bit more chance of getting um, that set again and as you can see a bunch of new trades weapons uh, skills and so on so that's pretty cool as I said more stuff that's what I want all right some more small cards okay there we go all right so uh, these are obstacles and all that stuff for the uh, end boss monsters so if you don't remember or if you don't know each monster has uh, three cards of these uh, face down and during the game you can look at them if you defeat monsters uh, well enough if you get monsters you defeat them good enough to get one of the trophies you are uh, allowed to look at one of these cards and they have an effect with the end fight so then you're better prepared and every monster has a couple of sets of these so you can uh, so you don't know beforehand what they do some more of these cards here they uh Oh, I forgot the name again. I'm... The alignment cards. So more of these. It can be a warden now, a proponent, counselor, and all that stuff. So pretty neat. All right. And then last but not least, new end boss monsters. There we go. A cyclops. And that comes with his own uh, obstacle cards and all that stuff. There are two of them, probably depending. This is for one player. This is for two or more players. So you have to choose which one you take. We have a Gorgon, a Griffin, a Hydra, a Leviathan, wow, a Megapede, and new player overview cards. Probably because it changed a little bit. So they made new ones of these. Um, so yeah, and I think that empties the box. So this is role player fiends and familiars for you in the big box. There you go. That's what's inside this box. Pretty cool. A lot of new cards, new sets of dice. Pretty cool new races that you can choose. And I'm eager to give this a try. Thank you for watching this unboxing. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like to subscribe, to comment below. Thanks for watching and see you all in the future. Bye bye.